I'm the Casual Cyborg, and welcome to Episode 5 of our Let's Play of Grandia 2, Anniversary Edition. When we left off, we were in this ruined town somewhere. Ryudo says it was recently not ruined, so something interesting must have happened here. And last time, I did not greet the innkeeper because I was in a hurry to save the game and leave to go to work. Now I am in not a hurry at all, so we can greet the innkeeper. Long time no see! Looks like you had trouble. Ryudo, still breathing, I see. Good. Monsters, kiddo. Monsters have taken up residence on the other side of town. As you can see, they haven't been too kind to us poor louts. Nice place you got here, Vikes. I heard they tried to run you out of town. Stubborn as ever, I see. Aye. And I don't think the wretches that came crawling in here for shelter appreciates that. I tell you. If I had a few more men with blades, we wouldn't have to keep huddling in here like hens on omelet day. You retired for a reason, Vikes. You can't win your battles with your reputation alone. I can still... Say, Ryudo, who's the girly? You've gone soft on me, lad. Huh? And you've gone senile on me, old man. It's work, don't ask. Huh? What's that? This looks like an interesting bunch. That medal was a mo memento of my mother. Please do something. No can do. We had our hands full just getting through here. There's no way we're going back to that place. What's the deal with those clowns? Why do you call them that? They ducked in here to slip away from some monsters that apparently took a liking to their finery. Along the way, the monster seemed to have lifted some precious bauble from the lad. I figure him to be a runaway, and a wealthy one at that. Might look into it, Ryudo. Accidents do happen. I beg you again, is the answer still no? When I say no, I mean no. We're born with so much luck, kid, personally. I'm saving mine for retirement. <laughs> Yeah, retirement. What the boss says is right. Uh, right, Paella? That's right. Bravery's not the same as bravado, right, Gonzola? Push your luck and you'll lose it all. Yeah, it's just like Paella says. <laughs> the odds are too stacked. We just ain't cut out for these high stakes gambles. Please help me! I beg of you! It... it's precious to me! You just don't understand how the world works. It Duck ain't our job like to be fighting in the first place. If you want some monsters slain, boy, why don't you go ask the Geo-Hound over there? Geo-Hound? Never heard of him. Please! A monster has stolen my precious metal! It was a memento of my mother. Will you help me get it back, please? I can pay you whatever you ask. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot spare the time. I'm already in the middle of one job. Ryudo, I think we should try- Aren't we in a hurry to get you to the cathedral? Sorry, kid, but you'd better give up on your medal. Do- do I have to? Hmm. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> Ryudo, can we not do something for that little boy? Gee, let me think about it. Yeah, I think we have time to find his lost jewelry. Hell, we could find him some matching earrings. Look, if we stop for every weepy brat, no offense, we might as well set up shop with Vikes here. Now eat these and relax. Eat these and relax? What are you giving me? Cuckoo berries. The locals chew on them. They make the corners round. 
Take it easy the first time, though. Make the corners round. Got it. Takes the edge off. Oh, she's she's eating lots of them. She's stuffing them in her mouth. If the road is blocked, we need to take a detour. No, oh, I'm missing a whole bunch of Texas. I'm watching her eat. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I said take it easy with those. For you, though, I feel kind of funny. <laughs> she did that on purpose, didn't she? I can't believe that girl. She ate enough cuckoo berries to kill the Pope. Strange way to put it. At least it's finally quiet. She'll sleep well. Not bad for her first time, actually. Whatever. Hopefully she won't keep trying to outdo me after this. I'm getting tired of this high-maintenance stuff, man. What are you thinking? Thought I'd take care of business while I can. Going out alone? I've got you, don't I? What made you decide to get to work right now? Have a soft spot for the kid? The circus brat? Hardly. We won't get anywhere unless we cut through those monsters first. And if an entire nest of them is involved, well, you know, I work best alone. <laughs> what in blazes? Found you. Who are you? Show yourself. Ryudo! It's... it's you? Aw, how sweet. You remember me. You remember my promise, too? I won't let you get away this time. I can't... move. You, what are you doing to Ryudo? Same thing I'm doing to you, bird. Ugh. Now, Ryudo, don't move, dear. Get away. Uh, hey, Roan's gone off somewhere. You guys seen him? Oh, that's, uh, that's Risotto, the, uh, cheese and rice guy. Uh, hey, hey, Roan's gone off somewhere. You guys seen him? Oh my, what do we have here? Let me free first. What's happening? I'll be right there. Achievement unlocked. Spicy lady. Oh, Millennia's in our party. Okay. Didn't think the kid had that much moxie. Running a one-man axe is no good. Almost enough to make a man sleep wicked. Two can't walk a tightrope. If the boy wants to make his own bed, then let him eat it, too. Um... You don't eat beds, Pela. That's not how this works. His own bed, hmm? He's not our problem. But still, he is young, very young. Too young to toe the line, perhaps. Mudo, what's with these losers? These carnies? They're all mopey because the runt ran off to feed some monsters. A scrub like him won't make half a meal. And you didn't do anything? What's wrong with you? Go find him. We know where he goes, yes we do. But there are monsters. Many monsters. Let's go. It's not right to leave the boy alone in a lion cage. I reckon we could worry till the bearded lady sings, or we could find the little nipper and be done with it. Hey, hang on. 
I was gonna waste the monsters anyway, so if we find him, we'll bring him back here. Now hang on there, feller. We better come with you. We're only circus folk, but you'll be needing some company anyways. Keep your cream pies and salsa water to yourselves. Your assistance isn't needed. Aw, you're a sweetheart, aren't you? This should be fun. <laughs> if your idea of fun is wading through rivers of blood, goblets of flesh, and gut fresh on your lips, then yes, it will be fun. Then what are we waiting for, Tiger? I'm getting antsy. Of course, I could just have some fun right here if you want. This woman is a couple legs shy of a basket. Hey, bird! Just how badly do you want to be turned into charcoal? Fine, fine. Come along then, but stay out of my way. See? That wasn't so hard, was it? Confident, yet willing to listen to reason. Just what I want in a man. My nose is itching like crazy again. As soon as I sit down to do a video. Damn it. I shouldn't have taken my eyes off the barricade. Now look what's happened. Vikes was depending on me, but I let him down. I guess I'll have to go rescue him. I think you've done enough. You help that kid anymore and he'll end up dead. Just get out of our way. Hey, hey, this ain't no walk in the park we're going on, you know. I shouldn't have taken my eyes off that kid. Who'd have thought he would run right into the monster's nest? Damn. What kind of mentally deficient brat would run off like that? Ugh. Now I guess we've got to go rescue him. I'm so sorry, Mr. Geohound. The kid ran into the cave. I only turned my back for a second. Yeah, looks that way, eh? This little brat is nothing but trouble, I can already tell. Ryudo, you were going to hunt down these monsters anyway, right? So what's the difference? Did you take a double dose of stupid pills today? I don't need some damn kids slowing me down. This barricade is in the way. Can I burn it down? You're not burning anything. Come on, we don't have any time to waste. Let's go. No time to waste, eh? Are you that worried about the kid? How touching. Hey, Millennia. If you still want to torch something, you can torch this bird here. We'll deal with the monsters first. There's no point risking our necks to go through here anyway. Come on, let's go. I thought the kid went into the cave. Oh, okay. Here's the cave. What's the point of the barricade if you have an entrance right here? Maybe the monsters are just so big that they can't fit through it. convenient. Well, let's see up here, just in case something horrible happens to us. Mm. Make the episode a little short if I ended it here. So, I'm going to carry on and make it a really long episode. How does that sound? Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just run around a little bit and then, uh, and then come back and save. Barrels, very oh, there's a oh, it's a cute, it's a tiny cute. The squirrel fox rodent thing must be a caro. They say he forages for puff nuts. I want it. I want it. Can I have it? Can I join the party? Sure. We'll, get, we'll Indiana Jones this. I don't think that's how it works. That's okay. Physics, schmizics. Alright, what can Millennia do? 
she's got the arrow. Fallen wings, that sounds fun. She's bats, but she's precious. There now, so we hit that switch. So we need that need besides that money. No. Uh, this is back where we came from, right? No. I'm still not watching the compass. Sorry, that's where I came from. Huh. Um, I'm going to actually save here and end the episode. So thanks for joining, guys. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe, like. I appreciate all of your attention and have a lovely day. Bye!